The wise man knows that he is not perfect, and he is not petty. However, the unwise one believes he is perfect and is always very petty. Only those who are content on a small scale and want to make a difference in a small circle will be successful. However, those who want to take over the world and change it will never achieve their goal. One meditates to gain strength, to be able to tackle problems effectively and to find peace, quiet, harmony, and freedom in the meditative phase, but also to gain profound consciousness-based and spiritual insights. Meditating never means running away from any problems, adversities, worries, or difficulties, but coping with them through meditative power and knowledge. One goes through life mindfully and clear-sighted to free oneself from all fears, attachments, and worries, as well as from all ignorance, all evils, and from all vices, in order to strive for something higher and achieve the goal of the highest possible evolution. Those who do not always mourn the past have a good future and a fulfilled life. The essence of meditation is to find equalizedness, calmness, peace, freedom, and harmony, to rest and live in it, and to perceive everything clearly and mindfully. To get to know oneself means to think, feel, and act consciously, and always in the form of recognizing and fulfilling one's duty. Only in this way does one learn what is real about one's own personality and character. Looking at oneself alone is not enough to get to know oneself, because walking the path of self-cognition requires attention and the will of conscious effort to fulfill at all times the duty and the meaning of life. Breathing affects consciousness. Consciousness affects breathing. Man's true way of life depends on the good seeds he carries in his mind and in the depths of his consciousness, which he allows to germinate and flourish. The untrue way of life depends on the bad seeds that man himself sows in his own consciousness and allows to germinate and grow. It is erroneous to assume that in true knowledge is faith, and in faith is true knowledge. Consequently, the success of true knowledge is never based on faith, and true success never comes about in faith. When one meditates for the first time in a completely unpracticed state, then attentiveness and clear-sightedness are still as weak and inconspicuous as a dimly glowing wick. But when one learns to concentrate on following the breath as it is drawn in and expelled again, then attentiveness and clear-sightedness become stronger each time. And after a relatively short time of practice and learning, the two values will shine in the brightest light. Primarily, the most important thing for man is to find a way back to himself, to become a true human being, and to not go along as a mere victim of himself, his own desires, and wishes or that of other people or society. Everything terrible, discordant, degenerate, and defective in man is basically all just a comprehensive helplessness that needs to be remedied and rectified so that existence can be seen and lived beautifully and courageously. Indulging in idleness brings no success, no knowledge, no wisdom, no strength, no attention, no concentration, and no clarity. Money, wealth, power, and pleasures are not among the desirable things in life, although people are most obsessed with these non-values. One can see that people who are surrounded by such things are especially hungry for whatever they already have in abundance, because they are obsessed with greed that they can never satisfy. 
which is why they are haunted by grubbing of material items, as well as by the fear that they could lose parts or all of their belongings and so on. In their unworthy activities, they never find rest and leisure to dedicate themselves to those values of life that are to be found in true love, freedom, and harmony, as well as in knowledge, peace, and wisdom. Many people would do better to have defeated themselves instead of standing before fellow human beings as a victor or a hero. If you feel a good evolutionary force within you, then you must develop it, and the fire kindled by the evolution must never be allowed to go out and be extinguished again, but must be steadily fanned in a controlled way to make it more and more powerful. And just as the controlled fire grows, becomes bigger and more powerful, and gives more and more warmth and energy, so also the energy of knowledge, wisdom, love, and harmony, as well as peace, calmness, equalizedness, and freedom grows through the constantly controlled and growing good, positive power. Man values nothing higher than what he is ready to die for. If man lives honestly within himself, then he will feel a sense that the innermost parts of his consciousness, as well as his mind itself, are dedicated to true love, which repels everything wrong and impure and allows only harmony, freedom, joy, peace, and tranquility to flourish within himself. Whoever recognizes the true meaning of life follows and fulfills it, and consequently never neglects or forgets the striving for the higher and highest. And whoever advances the striving for progress in conscious and spiritual evolution and lets himself be guided by it on his life journey, is fulfilled by truth's love and the creative purpose of life. Everything materially existing is impermanent, because if something is born or created, then it must also die, or it otherwise falls into decay and transience. If one meditates on it in reality-related form, then the impermanence of all material things becomes recognizable, which shows that becoming and passing, respectively birth and death, occur every moment of life inexorably in the whole universe. 